Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today another video in the series where I show you guys all the hockey jerseys I have. This is a long list, it's one video for every team and there will be another video for defunct teams like the Colorado Rockies. But today we will talk about an actual NHL team that uh, changed location twice. They started in 1974 as the Kansas City Scouts, then they became the Colorado Rockies from 1976 to 1982 and now they are the New Jersey Devils. A team that was quite successful, they won the Stanley Cup three times in 1995, in 2000 and in 2003. They had uh, one of the arguably best goaltenders in the NHL, Martin Baudet, and they had some very interesting jerseys and one thing they never had was a complete rebrand. So here we go, five jerseys I have of the New Jersey Devils. And to start it off with the Devils, this is the only Fanatics jersey I have. I couldn't get it in a CCM, I didn't find it in a starter. So, uh, okay, I got the uh, Fanatics, it was not that expensive, I think it was uh, 70 euros, so that's about 80 dollars. Yeah, that's okay. And it's the design the Devils wore from uh, 1982 until 1992. This one. I hope the camera can pick it up that uh, the shoulders and the stripes, this is not black, it's green. It's a dark green. And this looks really good. The outline around the logo is also in green, very dark green. They later on changed this uh, green really to black, but we will come to that with the next jersey. The logo is unchanged since the Devils came to the league in 1982 and it's an iconic logo, it's a fantastic logo, I absolutely love it. N, J, the tail of the devil, the horns of the devil, this looks just great. As mentioned it's a fanatic, so the touch, the feeling of the jersey is totally different to Adidas jersey. This one is blank on the back. Striping is very nice at the sleeves, at the bottom, and what I especially love about this jersey, green, white, red, you have contrast on the shoulders. This is an absolute lovely, lovely jersey, although it's a Fanatics, I still like it. But in 1992, the Devils changed the black for green. I don't know why, the green looked fantastic, but yeah, that's what they did. Out came this jersey here. This is an old starter. It is from the 90s. The logo is still the same, but with a black outline this time. And as this is a starter from the time, the logo is bubbly. But doesn't matter. I don't wear this jersey, I wear the Adidas version, to which we will come next. Compared to the uh, green, uh, the red and green jersey, there's the white stripe missing, separating the shoulders from the main body of the jersey, but still contrast with the black and the red looks quite good. The striping here at the bottom and at the sleeves is a little bit simplified to the uh, Fanatics jersey you just saw. I got this one from a private seller on eBay here in Germany. It was really cheap. I think I paid 20 euros or 25. It's black on the back, as mentioned, starter, Eastern Conference, it's a nice jersey, but I prefer the modernized version we will come to right now. Which brings us directly to the Adidas jerseys. Adidas is producing all NHL jerseys since 2017. Of course, so also for the Devils, and this is what they are wearing right now. Not much difference to the old starter. Still have the black shoulders and the red main body of the jersey, so contrast is there. What's different? We have green back on the jersey, but only in the neckline. With the dates, 95, 2000 and 2003, where the Devils won their three Stanley Cups. Little black stripe here at the bottom. The striping on the sleeves is the same as on the starter, but the white stripes got a little bit bigger. This one is named and numbered, might have seen it already, and it's my Nico Hischer, a guy from Switzerland who is now the captain of the New Jersey Devils. At the time I bought this jersey, he was not. 
pre-stitched only one layer of fabric here at the numbers nameplate looks quite okay that's all fine with me i got this from uh, a shop here in germany called the Amer all american sports store and it's a very nice jersey i love wearing it the home jersey of the new jersey devils of course where is a home jersey there also has to be a road jersey this one this is an absolute beauty. I got this from the NHL International Shop because nobody else had this one, this jersey available in my size. Contrast, black shoulders, white main part of the jersey, the iconic, beautiful Devils logo and the crest looks great. Can't find any other words for this. The neckline, uh, the color with the neckline, a little bit red. We have, again, a little bit of green with the dates of the Stanley Cups. This one is also blank on the back. The little black stripe here at the bottom. The striping in red and black is absolutely beautiful. It's a simple, but a very beautiful jersey. The Devils also had an alternate uh, heritage jersey, which goes back to the red and green colors they wore from 1982 to 1992. And they issued this jersey in 2018 as an alternate. It's this one. The differences are very clear. Green outline around the logo. Green in the neckline. Green stripe here with the red shoulders, the green stripe and the white main body of the jersey. This is fantastic. I absolutely love this jersey. Striping here at the bottom. One green, one red as well on the sleeves. This looks absolutely fantastic. This is one of my top 10 jerseys in my collection. I absolutely love it. This one is blank on the back. You can see again the red, green in the color with the red and green again here in the stripe. This is fantastic. I got this jersey from Ben H. Sports. It's been a while since I got this jersey because this was the first delivery I ever got from Ben included this great jersey. And as you know, I'm ending every video with the reverse retro. Not today. I can't show you the reverse retro. I don't have it. I would have loved to have it. A green devil's jersey, uh, just a fun jersey where they reverse the red and the green would have looked fantastic. But I had it in my basket of cool hockey. But then the system broke down. And when I got back online to order some jerseys, the devil's jersey was already sold out in my size. So I don't have it and I had a look at eBay today, but the lowest price I saw $330. No, that's too much. We'll not do that. So we have to end without the reverse retro, but I think this is not a problem. I hope I will get this jersey. Let's see. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And see you soon on the next part of my jersey collection videos. The next team we will have a look at is the favorite team of my friend Nick Pinkerton, the Twisted Rister. Maybe you know him under this name. And it's the San Jose Sharks. Look out for a Sharks video soon and uh, see you soon there. Goodbye.